This audio program has been produced by Pub 365. New Toic Edge Actual Test 3. Listening Test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a pitcher in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the pitcher. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. Some people are paddling through the water. B. Some people are crossing the bridge. C. Some people are walking along the shoreline. D. Some people are camping in a forest. Statement A. Some people are paddling through the water. Is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, a man is putting his glasses on. B, they are facing one another. C, a woman is removing her a book from the shelf. D, they are looking at the reading materials. Number two, look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A, they are walking by the railing. B, they are holding their sticks. C, they are going upstairs. D, they are installing the guardrail on the staircase. Go on to the next page. Number three, look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A, she is reading a newspaper. B, she is pouring coffee into a cup. C, she is opening a handbag. D, she is standing near a bench. Number four, look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A woman is waiting in a seated position. B. Some men are greeting each other. C. Some people are clearing off the floor. D. One of the men is raising his hand. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. They're attending a performance. B, they're running along a street. C, they're stretching on a lawn. D, they are cleaning the ground. Number six, look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A, one of them is rowing a boat. B, all the people have their paddles. C. A ship is tied to the dock. D. A tree is floating on the water. Go on to the next page. Part two, directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Isn't the city hall open until eight p.m.? A. It's the second building on your right. B. 
Yes, but not on Friday. C. An extra fee is charged. Number 8. We could hand out the copier after it's repaired. A. 50 sheets of paper. B. I wish I could copy. C. It took a while, didn't it? Number 9. Why don't we continue to negotiate this issue at our next meeting? A. Will you have enough time then? B. That's the subject of the next conference. C. Both of the partners. Number 10. Should we introduce Miss Carter at the beginning of the conference or the end? A. It's up to you. B. That's not your fault. C. Once a month. Number 11. Which store had the highest sales figures last year? A. Nearly every year. B. No, that is not my favorite store. C. I'll check and let you know. Number 12. Why was the local business seminar postponed? A. My business is up and coming. B. Post it on the bulletin board. C. The convention hall wasn't available. Number 13. Hasn't the building director contacted you to update your annual lease? A. He renewed the contact directories. B. What a great contract. C. Yes, I signed a new one this morning. Number 14. The elevator is out of order this afternoon. A. She was out today. B. That's the fifth time this week. C. It should be ordered by this Friday. Number 15. How did you complete the customer's survey so quickly? A. In the third quarter. B. Perhaps too many times. C. With my colleague's help. Number 16. Where can I change my tires? A. There's a car repair shop in county. B. There's a car dealership around the corner. C. It will be finished sooner or later. Number 17. I heard that Washington Mutual Bank went bankrupt last year. A. The competition has come. B. We'll need to share some information. C. Yes, I read about it in the magazine. Number 18. Where is the nearest postal office? A. The postal service is very good. B. My reservation was nearly filled. C. Right side at the end of this road. Number 19. When is the due date for the picture? A. The window on the right. B. One month from today. C. Due to high quality watercolors. Number 20. You got confirmation for the big changes we made, right? A. Profits have improved this quarter. B. This magazine is issued every week. C. No, I haven't talked with him yet. Number 21. How did you learn to use this application? A. A new tablet computer. B. By reading the brochure. C. By using the memory stick.
Number twenty-two. Are you looking for a house near downtown or far from it? A. I would like to stay downtown. B. A one-year lease. C. I want a beautiful nighttime view. Number twenty-three. Didn't Miss Raymond have an office here? A. I have the equipment. B. She moved a while ago. C. Maybe there's more in the building. Number twenty-four. Who's in charge of washing the uniform tonight? A. Please reply today. B. I'm buying the detergent. C. Mr. Steve is on schedule. Number twenty-five. How long should we display the fish? A. For half a day. B. You can't eat the fish raw. C. It's shorter than ten centimeters. Number twenty-six. When will the copy machine arrive? A. With the loading deck. B. By Tuesday morning. C. Mr. Brandon will bring it with the warranty. Number twenty-seven. Where are the large offices located? A. An old president retired recently. B. Two hundred workers. C. On Pine Street in Sydney. Number twenty-eight. Who will write this invoice? A. Bill and I will do it. B. My voice is too loud. C. The writing assignment is not finished yet. Number twenty-nine. Should I make a reservation for the reception party tonight? A. We probably don't need to do so. B. Yes, we ordered tonight's special menu. C. No, they shouldn't be too short. Number thirty. Will this program be installed by the technician or by users themselves? A. She decides to learn the technique. B. I was able to do it on my own. C. To reduce the cost of repair. Number thirty-one. Who will go to the station to meet Miss Victoria Hahn? A. We will send a driver. B. She will be here before six o'clock. C. Mr. Weissman will guide her. Part three, directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions thirty-two through thirty-four refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mr. Callison. This is Ivory Pollock. You are expected at headquarters by five p.m. There will be a meeting regarding the advertising campaign. I'm terribly sorry. I completely forgot about it. I've been working all day at the Twenty-fifth Street branch of Ruckman's store. How about I participate in the meeting through voice chat? I can use my phone. Okay, that will be fine. But please email me a copy of the department's annual budget. I have to print out ten copies before the meeting. Number thirty-two. Why is the woman calling the man? Number thirty-three. What does the man offer to do? Number thirty-four. 
What does the woman request the man do? Questions thirty-five through thirty-seven refer to the following conversation. Amy, I just had a discussion with the McDonald's company about the design for their new office. They like our plan to include energy-saving features. They definitely want to include insulation panels in the design. Insulation panels are very good, but they can also be very expensive to install in an office like this. So, before we begin to include insulation panels in the design, we should probably confirm all of the costs. I'll ask Mr. Kurt for help with the pricing. He just designed an office building with insulation panels for one of our other clients. He should have a good idea for costs. Number thirty-five. What kind of company will the speakers most likely work for? Number thirty-six. What concern does the woman have? Number thirty-seven. What does the man say he will do? Questions thirty-eight through forty refer to the following conversation. Miss Linwood, thank you for compiling the comments from our fitness center members. You found some very interesting trends and feedback that I'd like to share with all of our staff members. Yes, I'm happy to have helped. I agree that it should be shared with all the staff members. I think this feedback will really benefit the fitness center. Many people ask for more times for yoga classes. Will it be okay to add more class times? Sure. It wouldn't cost much more to offer additional class times, but I'll have to talk to the instructors to see if they can increase their weekday hours. Number thirty-eight. Where most likely will the speakers be working at? Number thirty-nine. What does the woman agree to do? Number forty. What does the man talk about with the instructors? Questions forty-one through forty-three refer to the following conversation. Did you hear the announcement from City Hall? They said they'll be putting new plumbing pipes on Third Street next month. There will be construction in front of our shop. Yeah, I heard about it yesterday. I'm concerned that the construction may hurt the amount of customers we could have. The construction will block the parking lot, making it harder for customers to come to our shop. You're right. Let's post a notification on our homepage. We have to inform customers that there are other places to park. Great idea. I'll upload the map on our website. The map will direct people to the new parking area close to our store. Number forty-one. What are the speakers talking about? Number forty-two. Why does the woman say she is worried? Number forty-three. What does the man suggest? Go on to the next page. Questions forty-four through forty-six refer to the following conversation. Good morning. A week ago, I registered for the bike race, and I got my registration packet in the mail this morning. I know my number, the one that I will be attaching to my shirt, but I can't find it on the registration list. Shouldn't it be included? Of course, it should have been included on the list. Can you give me your name so I can look you up in the system? Yes, it is Kimberly. We found your number. I'll make sure the correct list will be waiting for you in the information booth. When you arrive at the bike race on Sunday, just visit the booth and show them your ID card to pick up your participant number. 
Number 44. What are the speakers discussing about? Number 45. What is the purpose of the telephone call? Number 46. What does the man ask the woman to bring to the information booth? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Marcel, your resume shows you are an ideal applicant for the head manager of our company. Can you tell us more about your previous career? Of course. At my previous company, I provided general customer service to many businesses in the maintenance field. One of our clients was the biggest leasing firm in town. I was in charge of keeping and fixing the building for our customers. That sounds good. I see that you have included one of our partners as a reference. Yes, his name is Elias Raley. In fact, he became the successor of my former position at my last company. Number 47. What job is the woman interviewing for? Number 48. According to the woman, what was the responsibility at her previous job? Number 49. How does the woman know Emilio Reilly? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Jean Brigman in room 2176. I wanted to take a shower this morning, but the pipes are clogged. The water is not draining. I am very sorry to hear that, Miss Brigman. I'll send up a repairman to your room right away. My family is meeting friends in town soon, so I'm afraid it won't be fixed quickly enough. I see. In that case, why don't I move you to a new room? The room next to yours is available. I'll bring a room key up to you immediately. Yes, we will get ready and wait. Number 50. What problem does the woman report? Number 51. What does the man mean when he says, in that case? Number 52. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ms. Sydney Fairman. This is Lorenzo Holloway from Pink Dolphin Outdoors. We are supposed to meet today at 10 o'clock, but something urgent has just come up. Could we possibly meet at 12 instead? I wish I could. How about the day after tomorrow? Let me check my schedule. That should work for me too. So, want to meet around 10 or 10.30? Let's make it 10.30. I'll call and make a reservation at that cafe we went to last time. Thank you very much. I'll see you then. Number 53. Why is the man calling? Number 54. What does the woman mean when she says, I wish I could? Number 55. What will the woman do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. This report is filled with spelling errors. In addition, the summary I asked for has been left out, Mr. Thompson. Let me see. That isn't the newest version of the report. Chadwick, you revised it too, right? Yes. I revised the marks you made and added a fifth page with a summary. Then, print the current version right now so I can look it over. 
I need it for the meeting with this client this morning. Ms. Dunbar, I am sure I printed the new version yesterday and placed it on your desk. Let's see. I can't believe it. Here it is. It was between the files. I'll read it through and let you know if there are any need of corrections. Number fifty-six. What did the woman ask Mr. Thompson to do? Number fifty-seven. According to the woman, what will happen this morning? Number fifty-eight. Where is Mr. Thompson's newest report? Questions fifty-nine through sixty-one refer to the following conversation. How is everything going, Mr. Eugene? So far, we've received much more donations than expected. Actually, much more than we have ever received. That's really good to hear. I can check that we have already exceeded the goal for this year, as well as the goals of all the previous years combined. Impressive. What is causing this increase in donations? We've done a lot more requests for donations online this year, including social media, instead of by phone. Wow, you've made the most out of technology. We're trying, and we've still got two more days left of the event. Number fifty-nine. What are the speakers discussing? Number sixty. What do the men imply about the operation? Number sixty-one. What kind of media will be most useful for donations? Questions sixty-two through sixty-four refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Floyd Woodruff. I want to have the advertising leaflet printed. Can you tell me how long it will take? If possible, I'd like to pick it up today by 6 p.m. because I can't pick it up any other day this week. Of course, we can do it. However, there is an additional fee for a rush order. Well, we don't have enough room in our budget to cover the extra cost. I also will have to take part in the conference tomorrow, and this week is going to be an extremely busy week. I won't have time to make an order other than today. If so, it is good to use our seven-day service. If you order seven days in advance, we will have the order delivered to your office at the end of this week. It is cheaper than the rush order. Great! I will send you the order form right now. Number sixty-two. What kind of company will the woman most likely work at? Number sixty-three. Look at the graphic. How much will the man most likely pay for extra fees? Number sixty-four. What will the man do next? Go on to the next page. Questions sixty-five through sixty-seven refer to the following conversation. Mr. Milton, you will be performing last, won't you? No, there's a mistake in the printed program. Gilbert's playing after me. Why? The first performer is Miss Elder. We won't be able to finish on time since she is playing two pieces. If you are to go before Gilbert plays, is it possible to end at twenty-one hundred? Sure, it is. I can perform the Beatles song quickly. If so, Gilbert will have enough time to finish his piece. Number sixty-five. Why did the program change? Number sixty-six. Look at the graphic. Who will perform last? Number sixty-seven. 
What kind of performance will Mr. Milton do? Question 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ms. Wilmer. This is Judson Cranford from Brown Kid Apparel. Have you read my email? Yes, but can you explain the situation further? Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we can't complete your order as requested. That's what you told me in the email. What exactly is the problem? As you see in the list I sent you, number ME633 has been discontinued, and the stock of YO723 is very limited. Also, no, HI897 has not arrived yet. I recommend you to choose SA249. Yes, there is no alternative. We need a huge amount of children's clothes right now. Number 68. What did Mr. Judson Cranford send to Miss Wilmer? Number 69. What problem does the woman mention? Number 70. Look at the graphic. How much will the woman pay for her choice? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following speech. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this month's medical fair. My name is Craig Adams, President of Richardson Health Association and the organizer of this fair. It's a great joy to see so many dedicated hospital officials attempt to improve health care. Dr. Woolley will speak about innovative ways to use technology in general hospitals. There are some announcements I will address before handing over the microphone to our main speaker. There will be post-fair workshops after the presentation. If you plan to stay in Austin for a few more days, I suggest you come to the workshop. Number 71. What field does the speaker most likely work in? Number 72. What will Dr. Woolley address in her speech? Number 73. Why are the listeners encouraged to stay after the presentation? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, this is Nolan Kumar from the marketing department of Jury Tribune. Before we start today's meeting, I would like to say sorry for delaying our meeting till now. We were supposed to have this meeting last week, but we had a power outage that day. All the lights were out, so we had no choice but to reschedule. I'm glad that it was fixed quickly so that our meeting could be held today. Anyways, we are interested in redesigning our newspaper to make it look more modern and simple. We'll print out some samples for possible designs. After today's meeting, we will hand them out so that we can receive feedback from attendees. Your opinions are important to us. To express our gratitude, the company will give each of you 50 euros at the end of today's meeting to compensate for your time. Number 74. Why does the speaker apologize? Number 75. What are the listeners asked to do? Number 76. What will the listeners receive later today?
Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following report. I'm Hunter Stockman with Local News. The residents of Fordham City brought the petition to town hall today. The people of Fordham City are interested in some aspects of the bicycle program. People are able to rent a bicycle at a designated bike rack and are able to return it to any other bike racks around the city. Large bike racks are being constructed near sidewalks and several busy streets through Fordham City. There is a petition against the construction of these bike racks because many residents think it will get in people's way. The mayor of Fordham City will address these concerns this evening at 5 o'clock at the residential meeting. Number 77. What is the topic of the reports? Number 78. What is the concern of some Fordham residents? Number 79. According to the speaker, what will the mayor do tonight? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, this is Patricia Elwood. I'm calling you back to discuss the services included in the business cleaning package you suggested for my company. Triton Agency guarantees the lowest pricing in town for cleaning offices. However, I got another local cleaning company's offer that includes much more cleaning services than Triton's. The price is also much more expensive. In fact, We don't need too many services. So, just like famous Boykin's Agency, if your company will include services such as vacuuming, dusting, and interior window washing, would you be able to match Triton's price? I prefer to make a contract with your company because your company has had excellent customers' feedback. Please contact me if you want to discuss this offer. My number is 775 9210. Number 80. What is the speaker trying to do? Number 81. What service does Boykins offer? Number 82. Why does the speaker say that he wants to hire Boykins Agency? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following advertisement. I know that you are looking for the most effective method to advertise your company. You should check out Good Voice Marketing. It is the number one marketing company in Brisbane, but it serves customers from all over the world. Our company's specialized and creative packaging design will contribute to your product success. Our packaging design s u r p a s s the other designs on the market. We guarantee that your sales will increase greatly. If you want to see our portfolio or recent work, please visit www.goodvoicemarketing.au.co. Be a partner of Good Voice Marketing for your promised success. Number 83. What type of business is being advertised? Number 84. What does the business specialize in? Number 85. Why should listeners visit the company's website? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I inform you that you can't park at the front of the building when you come to work next week. The parking lot has to be kept clear the whole day because a truck will come to unload new machines. I apologize for the trouble that this has caused, but the equipment will help all of us in the long run. 
Again, the parking lot in front of the factory has to be kept clear the whole day to ensure the space for the new machines. Thank you for your cooperation. Number 86. Who is this announcement intended for? Number 87. According to this speaker, what will happen next week? Number 88. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. We are so grateful to you all for attending this conference. During the conference, we will discuss next year's building project that's on Encinitas Street. It is especially important that we make a deal with our investor, George Investment, for this project. The investment firm asked us to lower the project's total cost by about 20%. The plan of next year's building project is almost completed. There's just one problem. Usually, we don't cut down the budget during this time, but George Investment is one of our biggest investors, which means that they have a power to shut down operation. This might cause many residents to lose their jobs in the future. Please take some time to look at the documents regarding the budget change of the project. Number 89. What problem does the speaker mention about George Investment? Number 90. Why does the speaker say there's just one problem? Number 91. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. This Friday, June 25th, the Cordova High School Band will host a car wash fundraiser at the parking lot next to Target. The fundraiser will start from 9 a.m. and end at 6 p.m. Our band won a local championship this year, so they will be going to the national band competition in Miami. All profits from the car wash will be used for the travel costs for the national band competition. Why not help us? Support your local students by bringing your dirty cars. In addition, while your car is washing, you can enjoy some snacks. Donations of snacks and sponges for cleaning cars are welcome. If you are interested in donating, please contact Tracy Lee at 234-5694. Number 92. What is the announcement mainly about? Number 93. What are the listeners asked to do? Number 94. What does the woman mean when she says, Why not help us? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and program. I want to say thanks to you all for making it to the meeting this evening. Today, we want to honor the awesome donors of our local community, local government officers, nonprofit organization leaders, and a special guest have come to honor our donors. Before we start tonight's event, I would like to ask you to turn off or silence your cell phones. We wouldn't want to have unpleasant noises interrupting this event, would we? As you know, we will have a reception after the main event. But the reception will start 30 minutes later than scheduled due to the catering service company's unexpected delay. Thank you for understanding. Number 95. Where will the speaker probably be? Number 96. What are the listeners asked to do? Number 97. Look at the graphic. When will the reception start?
Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following report and graph. Hello, my name is Harrison Claycomb, and welcome to Weekly Business News. The Texas Printing Company and Eleanor Printer have recently confirmed that they will reach a partnership by the end of the year. T and E will be their new brand name. In terms of market share, Texas Printing Company and Eleanor Printer are ranked second and third, respectively, as of now. The main reason why the two companies came together was to rival against Paper Dragon Printer, currently the largest domestic printing company and the top ranked in market share. Also, this strong alliance will definitely help the two companies noticeably reduce their costs by closing down extra unneeded factories in overlapping areas. Number ninety-eight. What is the purpose of the report? Number ninety-nine. Look at the graphic. What would be the rank of Paper Dragon Printer early next year? Number one hundred. According to the report, why will T and E be formed? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part five in your textbook. End of recording.